Thanks for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. I'm Daniel Muddy, and we'll get to the Democratic presidential ticket in just a moment. But first, KTSM speaking with the wife of the armed suspect shot and killed by El Paso police over the weekend. KTSM 90s reporter Stephanie Shields is live in the newsroom with that interview. I spoke with Bianca Parks, the wife of Ryan Shane Inojo. He was the suspect involved in that domestic violence call. She says she doesn't understand why her husband was involved in that call. He wasn't a bad person. He really wasn't. Bianca Parks remembering her husband of eight years, Ryan Shane Inojo, who police shot and killed on Sunday after they say he opened fire on officers. I wouldn't think that he would turn around and start shooting at anyone. Investigators say officers responded to a domestic violence call at a house on the 1200 block of Autumn Gate in East El Paso. But Inojo's wife says she doesn't know who made the call or who lives there. I'm not too sure. I don't know exactly what he was doing there. I don't know what the circumstances is for that type of call. County records show Inojo has an extensive criminal past. Records show police responded to the same house on Autumn Gate in February of this year, where Inojo was arrested and accused of possessing drugs and breaking a window. He was also charged with assault on a police officer. He never showed me. He never mentioned it. And if he did, then he kept it from me. Bianca says her husband never behaved aggressively with her. When asked about his criminal history, this was her response. Everyone has a past and I know he had him. He came from such a loving family and I just don't understand how things ended the way that they did for him. Police say the shootout happened after Inojo jumped into a neighboring backyard where officers set up a perimeter. He became a stepfather and a father figure to my little girl and I wish he could have found some a different way. This investigation is ongoing with the Texas Rangers EPPD shooting review team and Crimes Against Persons Unit all investigating. Live in the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you.